Hi, welcome to another video. So, today's video is about a new model called Sky T1. As the name config suggests, this model is a reasoning model. It is fully open source and is trained on the Quen 232B model with synthetic data that is majorly generated from the QWQ model. Although it has also been edited to make the chain of thought much better and then train the model on that data. The training data, training code, as well as open weights of the model are all available, which is really great. They have also done some rejection sampling and manual tweaking of the data set to keep the training most effective and achieve higher performance in fewer tokens of training. The model performs significantly better in the benchmarks and is even on par with O1 in maths and AIM benchmarks, which is pretty insane. They didn't train a smaller model because the model's base knowledge gets limited and the reasoning doesn't work as well. So, this is the best size that can run locally and still be useful. Also, this entire model is trained under $500, which is pretty insane. Anyway, the model is available on Olama, and there are also some hugging face spaces. You can also use GLHF to try it out. Now, let's test it out with these 13 questions. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, On Demand. On Demand is an all-in-one ultimate AI operating system that can help you create AI agents and AI automation workflows in literal seconds. You can create a bunch of actionable agents like social media posting agents for LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter, or you can also build agents for automated trading and anything else you'd want. And it's not just that, because On Demand also has an agent flow builder that allows you to assemble agents, model endpoints, fulfillment prompts, and chat prompts into one cohesive workflow. You can schedule these workflows to execute at custom intervals, like every minute, hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or anything like that. You can also make it deliver outputs via email, Slack, or actionable agents. They even have an AI engineer that allows you to build real-world apps with it in seconds. Currently, they are giving out free $150 credits that you can use to try it fully free and get some pretty cool stuff made with it. So, make sure that you check them out and start building some great stuff now. Now, let's come back to the video. So, these are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Leah. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, so it gave the country at first, and when I asked it for the capital, it gave me the correct answer. So, this is correct. Let's mark this as a pass. Now the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, so it isn't correct. Let's mark this as a fail. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and check. This is the answer, and it's correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. 
Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's give this a pass. Now, the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Now, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's mark it as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Okay, it first gave me the equation, which I asked it to solve and give me a rounded number. Here's the answer, which is correct. Let's mark it as well. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and if we run it, you can see that this works pretty well. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, it also works well and produces the correct sound. So, this is a pass. The next one is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, it also looks pretty good. Let's mark it a pass as well. The next one is, create me a 3D circle that moves and loops endlessly in 3D space using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, it works pretty well. So, this is a pass as well. Now the final question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the code. Let's copy and run it. Okay, this also works well. Let's keep this a pass. Now this is the final chart, so it worked pretty well. I actually like this over QWQ because the chain of thought is good and it doesn't do any kind of artifacting or hallucination. So that's great. It works amazingly well in coding as well, which is great. So this is great. QWQ hallucinates a lot and keeps going sometimes, but this is pretty good and works pretty well with most of the stuff, which is insane to be honest. There's also a version of the model on a llama to make it work well with Klein. So, you can use that if you wish to. This model is actually really good in work, unlike other reasoning models. So, it has some good stuff for sure. Plus, the dataset is also open sourced along with the training code. So, you should be able to train it on a model that you see fit and use that in a reasoning model. I think it would be super good with Llama 3.3 as well. And I hope someone trains it with this data set and makes it perform as well. But this model is also great, and you can run it locally quite easily. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.